where exactly is this top secret elf command tracking centre? In the great elf tree. Listen up, everyone. The wise old elf can't be here. So he's put me in charge. Right, Hall. What do these buttons do? <laughs> Don't touch anything. It's all automatic. Oof. This screen shows the world, and this flashing dot shows where Father Christmas is. He's at the North Pole. That's right, Holly. He's just about to set off. Oh, oh, oh. Good. That's all the presents packed. Let me out! I'm the queen! Let me out! What was that tiny squeaky noise? Oh, well, time to go, I think. Ho, oh, oh, oh. ho, ho! Away we go! Look! Father Christmas is moving! He has to deliver presents to all the children! All the children? Even our friend Lucy? Yes! I wonder what Lucy is doing now. There! Don't the decorations look pretty? Let's put the Christmas crackers on! Whoa! I wonder what's inside. <laughs> it will look nice here. Time to switch on the lights. Ooh! What's that flashing light? <gasps> Is that you, wise old elf? Oh, hello, Lucy. And hello, Lucy's mum. Nice to see you both again. But, wise old elf, what are you doing in our Christmas tree? It's a bit of a long story. You see, pine elves live in pine trees, and then they... Pine elves? What are pine elves? We're pine elves! <laughs> Else in our Christmas tree. That's lovely, but it's probably best if you all stay hidden. Lucy's dad gets a bit nervous around little people. Did someone say little people? Um, eh. I'm really looking forward to a normal family Christmas with just us three and no talk of little people. Of course, darling. Anyway, it's getting late. Time for your bed, Lucy. Father Christmas won't come unless you're sleeping. Okay. <laughs> night, night, Lucy. Night, night. I wonder where Father Christmas is now. Father Christmas has delivered presents to just about every child in the world. Good. Once it's delivered the last one, we can all get some sleep. Look, Father Christmas is almost at Lucy's house. One last present to deliver. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oof. Let me out! Let me out! <sighs> that chair looks comfy. I'll just have a little sit down. <sighs> I mustn't fall asleep, but I'll just close my eyes for a moment. The dots have stopped moving. Father oh, Christmas hasn't left Lucy's house. He's fallen asleep. We'll have to go and wake him up. Come on, everyone, to the elf helicopter! I only hope we can get there before Father Christmas is discovered! Look, Mummy! A present! We'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Lucy! That's Dad! I don't think your dad could take all this. Everyone hide, quickly! Hide? Who has to hide? Um, um, Merry Christmas, darling. Let's pull a cracker. Oof! Let me out! Now, let's have a nice, normal Christmas. No weird, magical stuff. Oh, oof! At last! I'm out of that cracker! What? What is that? It's King Thistle. He's our friend from the Little Kingdom, Dad. Ah! Magical weirdness! It's happening again! Hello, Lucy's dad. Um, hello. Allow me the honour of reading you the cracker joke. What's at the North Pole and has two humps? Hmm? A lost camel. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Yeah. I wrote it myself. Uh, Lucy, you haven't opened your present. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow! A tiny fairy castle! Hello, Lucy! Queen Thistle! What are you doing in there? Um, it's a bit complicated, but basically this isn't a toy. It's the real little castle shrunk down. Are you okay? I'll be fine once I'm my own size again. Um, are there any more of you, uh, fairies around here? <laughs> What's that noise? Ah! Hello, Lucy's dad! Um, hello. Daddy! Mummy! Hello! Uh, uh, hello!
Hello, everybody. Um, is that all of you now? Uh, there are the Pine Elves, too. Pine Elves? What are they? We're Pine Elves! They live in our Christmas tree. Pine Elves! Yes, of course. Why didn't I think of that? My goodness, it looks like just about everyone from the Little Kingdom is here. Hello. Um, hello. We heard the Christmas party was around your place this year. We're gnomes, by the way. <laughs> um, it seems we have gnomes as well. Yes, aren't you the lucky ones? <gasps> ah! Hello, big people. Happy Christmas from Planet Bong. Aliens, elves, fairies, gnomes. All we need now is Father Christmas. <sighs> Ho, ho, ho! Wow! Father Christmas! In our house! Ho, ho, ho! What? But who? But how? What my husband's trying to say is, please join us for lunch. Hooray! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Daddy. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Lucy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Big and little. <laughs> ben and Holly's Christmas. Hello. Ah, big people. Hello, white oak elf. It's me, Father Christmas. Father Christmas. Christmas. Why are you dressed like that? I'm in disguise. Top secret and all that. Ooh. I've popped down to check how you elves and fairies are doing with the Christmas preparations. Everything is in hand, Mr. Christmas. We've made all the toys for you to give to the children of the world. Dolls' houses. Footballs and teddy bears. Lovely. And Mr. Elf has been flying day and night, delivering the toys to you at the North Pole. Good, good. And how about the Christmas crackers? The fairies are in charge of the crackers. Hello, everyone. We have a visitor. Ho, ho, ho! Ah! Of course. You don't know who I am. I'm in disguise. You're Father Christmas. Oh, yes. Mr. Christmas, would you like to test a cracker? Wow! That's loud. Yes. Nanny Plum is in charge of the bangs. Let's bang, please, Nanny. What? But the bang is the best bit. That's why we do the cracker-making underground. Let's try the paper hat. How do I look? <laughs> Very Christmassy. And we've got some good cracker jokes this year. What do you get if you cross a kangaroo and a sheep? A woolly jumper. <laughs> Daddy, that's awful. Cracker jokes are meant to be awful. That's why we get King Thistle to write them. <laughs> and the cracker toys. This year, we've made telephones to put in the crackers. A tiny telephone. Does it really work? No, it's just a lump of plastic. And down there, all the bits and bobs are put into the crackers by magic. Mr. Elf has delivered loads of Christmas crackers to the shops already. Good. The big people pick them up and put them on the shelves. And they have no idea the crackers were made by elves and fairies. Jolly good work. And how are the Christmas trees? The Pine Elves have been growing them all year. Hello. We've come to see the Christmas trees. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, Father Christmas. Like the outfit. What fashion is it exactly? Uh, it's meant to be a disguise. So many lovely Christmas trees. Yes. Pine Elves are good at growing Christmas trees. And we're Pine Elves. <laughs> pine tree has little windows in it. Yes, we live in a great oak tree. The pine elves live in a great pine tree. All elves live in trees. Goodness knows why. How do you get all the Christmas trees to the shops? Once a year, the big people come and cut the trees down. And they have no idea the Christmas trees were grown by us little people. But what if they cut down the great pine tree? There's no danger of that. The great pine tree is too big. Everything seems in hand. Thank you, elves and fairies. Our pleasure. I need to get back to the North Pole and change clothes. I can't deliver presents dressed like this. Bye. Bye-bye, Christmas. Now, where did I leave my sleigh? 
the big people should be here any moment to cut the trees down. Here they come! They mustn't see us. Everyone into the great pine tree. You all stay down here. I'm going upstairs to take a look. Close the shutters! Good. Now we're completely hidden. Right then, let's cut these Christmas trees down! Timber! Timber! Really loud up there! No problem. We pine elves are used to the noise. Uh, that was loud. I think they've finished. Excellent. They've taken all the trees. Uh, even the great pine tree. Ah, where's the upstairs gone? The big people have taken it. Don't worry. The wise old elf will sort this out. Uh, where is the wise old elf? It's for you. Oh, hello. Your Majesty. It's a disaster. The great pine tree has been cut down with all the pine elves inside. Well, if they will insist on living in a Christmas tree, what do they expect? <laughs> Your Majesty, that is not helpful. Honestly, why can't they live like normal people in a castle? Nanny Plum, tea break. Ooh, thank you, Queen Thistle. Racket testing is thirsty work. <gasps> That's the sound of big feet. The big people are coming. They must see the little castle. Oh, yes. Um, uh, I know. I'll shrink it down. Shrink, little castle. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Good. With any luck, the big people won't notice it now. Ah, Nanny Plum! You've shrunk me as well! Uh, oh, here come the big people. Now, where did I leave my sleigh? Oh, what's this? A toy castle. I didn't know the elves were making these. I'm not a toy. I'm Queen Thistle. What's that squeaky noise? Oh, well, I'll just take this toy to the North Pole myself, or else some poor child won't get their Christmas present. Uh, Mr. Christmas? Ho, ho, ho. Away we go. Oh, dear. Home at last. Uh, where is my castle? Uh, somehow it sort of shrunk itself down. And Father Christmas thought it was a toy, and he's taken it to the North Pole. What? Well, if some people will live in houses that look like little toy castles, what do they expect? Hmm, <laughs> the Queen will sort this out. Queen Thistle! We have a little problem up here that we might need a hand sorting out. Where is the Queen? Uh, on her way to the North Pole. Somehow she shrunk down inside the castle. I see. I'll just have to sort this mess out myself, then. Let's give Father Christmas a ring. Ah, good. A phone. Ah! Put me down. Ah! Get me out of this cracker. Still one more box of crackers? Let's get them loaded. Daddy's taking a long time. see who delivers them. Ah! Oh, trapped in a cracker! <sighs> oh, well. At least I can phone for help. Ah, oh, yes. It's not a phone. It's a lump of plastic. Get me out of this cracker! Trees! Last delivery of Christmas trees! Wow! That's a big Christmas tree. Stacked up in a garden centre. How embarrassing. Ah, the North Pole. I need to get ready for my Christmas deliveries. One last toy to be wrapped. I'm not a toy. I'm Queen Thistle. Ah! Oh, let me out. I'm a queen. King Thistle trapped in a cracker? The wise old elf stuck in a Christmas tree? Queen Thistle wrapped up as a present? What will happen next? Join us again as our Christmas adventure continues. The Lost Egg
play catch. But Holly, we haven't got a ball. That's easy. I can magic one up. Abracadabra, abracadu, magic a ball and make it blue. Hmm, maybe not blue. Red. It's a bit small. Shall I make it bigger? It's fine. Come on, let's play. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Ben. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Holly, have you magic the ball into this? No, that's not our ball. Look. <laughs> so what's this, then? It looks like an egg. I wonder where it came from. There's no trees here. Maybe it flew. Eggs don't fly, Holly. Magic eggs might fly. Hmm. Maybe it's a dragon's egg. Hmm. Gaston, do you know what kind of egg it is? <coughs> I think that means no. Oh. I know. We can ask Nanny Plum. Good idea. Nanny Plum, quick! Oh, goodness me! What is it? We found a magic egg. Or a dragon's egg. Come on, we'll show you. Most interesting. An egg. Hmm. Here's the magic egg, Nanny. That's not a magic egg. Is it a dragon's egg? No, it's some sort of bird's egg. Hello. What sort of bird's egg are you? A blackbird. It's a talking egg. No, it's me, the wise old elf. Oh, hello. Good day, Mistress Plum. As I was saying, it is a blackbird's egg and there's a baby chick inside. How do you know? You can hear it tapping. Listen. Ooh, exciting. Nanny, can we look after it? You must never collect the eggs of wild birds. The place for an egg is with the mummy bird. Wise words, Mistress Plum. But the mummy bird's not here. Then we must find her. Ow, ow, ow. I know. Gaston can follow the egg's trail and find the mummy. <laughs> Clever Gaston. <laughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. Oh. oh! I don't think the ladybirds can follow the trail through water. Now we can't find the egg's mummy. So what can we do, Nanny? If the mummy were here, she would build a nest and sit on the egg to keep it warm. <laughs> Please, can I sit on it? Your bottom is too small. We need a bigger bottom. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, King Thistle. Daddy, can you help us? Help you with what? Your Majesty, if you could sit on this egg until we build a nest, that would be most kind. Very well. Daddy looks a bit silly. <laughs> I don't look silly, do I? No, Daddy. <laughs> I say, this is jolly uncomfortable. You won't be long, will you? We'll be as quick as we can. We just need to build a nest. I know. Elves can pick up sticks. Fairies can pick up soft things. OK. We'll collect these sticks. We'll collect thistledown. Ooh, thistledown is very soft. There. And now, the magic words. Sticks, moss and thistledown make me a nest all cosy and round. Lovely. Can I get off now? Of course, Your Majesty. Look, there's a crack. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the egg. No, the egg is cracking on its own. The egg is hatching. Ooh. Oh, it's a little chick. Ah. Good. Now the mummy will hear the chick call and come to collect it, and I can get back to my work. Look, the chick is following Nanny Plum. Usually, the first thing a chick sees is its mummy. And this chick saw Nanny first. 
So it thinks Nanny is its mummy. <laughs> I am not a mummy bird. The chick is hungry. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh, Gaston is an insect. Gaston? Maybe you should stand back a bit. We need to find some worms. How? With worm charming, like this. The worms think it is raining and come up to breathe. Ooh. <laughs> Look, a worm! It got away! Oh, come on everyone, try again. <laughs> I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zigzag, zig, make it big. I think you've got the spell wrong. The cheek is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry. The spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute. Or a week. Or... is here. Hooray! What's it saying? The chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. And me. How about some juicy worms? <laughs> <laughs> Queen Thistle's teapot. Da da do dum da dee da. Dum da dum dum da dee da. Da 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 dum da dee da dee. My new fairy tea set has arrived. Ooh. Ooh. It's so beautiful and it's so sparkly. It's also very delicate, Holly. That means it breaks easily, so you can look. But don't touch. Yes, Mummy. It is a beautiful teapot. Shall I give it a bit of a dust, Your Majesty? No, Nanny Plum. Even you mustn't touch it. Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Now, as it's such a lovely day, why don't we go for a nice walk? Can I stay here and look at the tea set instead? All right, Holly. But look and don't touch. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hello, Ben. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is very busy looking at a teapot. Perhaps if... Ben, I've got something to show you. <laughs> OK, Holly. <laughs> Look, Mummy's fairy tea set. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I suppose so. No one is allowed to touch it. Not even Nanny. Why not? Because it's very delicate. Well, what can you do with it then? Well, you can have tea parties with it, of course. Uh, but we're not supposed to. Just hold them, silly. It's not hard. Look at me. <gasps> How do you like your tea, Mr. Elf? Weak or strong? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Holly, you've broken the Queen's teapot. Oh no, Mummy will be so sad. We weren't supposed to touch it, were we? No. What can we do? Can you fix it with magic? Uh, I'll try. Abracadabra, abracadu, uh, mend this teapot. <sighs> well, that didn't work. <sighs> Nanny will know a spell. Let's ask her. No, we can't tell anyone. What can we do then? Uh, Ben.
Ben, aren't elves good at mending things? Uh, yes. And you're an elf? Ben, elf! <laughs> <laughs> so, can you help me mend it? Uh, I'm not sure. Please, Ben! You're my very best friend, and you're my only hope. Uh, OK. I've got stuff for mending things at home. <laughs> we can carry the pieces in this box. But what if someone sees us? I can make us invisible. I know that spell. Abracadibbly-dibble make us invisible. Hey, it worked. Come on. <laughs> dum da dum dum ta dee da there's Nanny! Ben, be quiet! <laughs> I bother! My invisible spell has worn off! That's alright! We're nearly there! No one will see us now! Hello, Ben! Hello, Princess Holly! Uh, hello, Mrs Elf! What are you two up to, then? Uh, nothing, Mum! We're just going to mend something! Yes! Elves are good at mending things! And you're an elf! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mum. This is where I keep all my mending stuff. <laughs> Glue, paint, brushes and glitter. Oh, goody. First, I have to put a mat down so that we don't get glue on the floor. Yes. And we must wear aprons to keep our clothes clean. <laughs> now what? We stick the pieces together with glue, like this. One, two, three. There, it's stuck. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. There, it's mended. Hooray! It doesn't look quite right. Uh, we can paint it. Yes. That's better. Hmm, it had flowers on it too. I'm good at painting flowers. There. But I think she was a bit more sparkly. We can use glitter. <laughs> I love glitter. It's so glittery. <laughs> there. Hooray! Do you think your mum might see the difference? Uh, yes. Maybe it just needs more glitter. No, Ben. We tried to mend it, but it didn't work. We'll just have to ask Nanny Plum for a spell. All right, let's go to Nanny. There's Nanny. Go on, ask her for a spell. Nanny, please can I ask you a question about spells, please? A question? Of course. Nanny, a little friend of mine has broken something and wants to mend it. What spell can she use? Do I know this little friend? Uh, no. She's a goblin and she lives far away and you don't know her at all. Is it a special thing this little goblin broke? Yes. And did the little goblin break it on purpose? No, it was an accident. I didn't mean to break it. <gasps> oh, I see. You broke it. Oh, Nanny, I didn't mean to break it. Oh, don't worry, Holly. It can't be that bad. It is that bad. Don't be silly. It's not as if you've broken the Queen's teapot. <gasps> what did you break? The Queen's teapot. Oh. Mummy's going to be so sad. But we did mend it. Well, I'm sure it's OK then. It doesn't look exactly like it did before. Ah! Please, can you fix it, Nanny? Don't worry. I know just what to do. I knew Nanny Plum would have a spell to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. Are you going to buy a new teapot? No. Much simpler than that. What? We'll tell the Queen. <gasps> Excuse me, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Unfortunately, there has been a little accident. Accident? What happened? I'm sorry to say that your teapot has been broken. Oh, the teapot I said no one was to touch. Uh, yes. Nanny Plum, I told you not to dust that tea set. Yes, Your Majesty. I have a good mind to turn you into a slug. 
That's a bit harsh, isn't it, darling? Could you turn me into a snail, perhaps, instead? No! Mummy, it was me! I did it, and I've been sad all day. <gasps> and now you're going to have to turn me into a slug instead of Nanny. <sighs> oh! Oh no, my poor darling! Don't be sad. It's only a silly piece of pottery. But Mummy, you were going to turn Nanny into a slug. Oh, I didn't really mean that. Huh? Sorry I made you sad, Mummy. Oh, Holly, I'm only sad that you felt you couldn't tell me. We did try and mend it. It doesn't look like it did before, but the children have tried their hardest. Oh, that is beautiful. Just as beautiful as it was before. Shall I give it a dust, Your Majesty? No, this is one of a kind and very fragile. No one must touch it. Promise. We, we promise. promise. I will treasure it. Holly's magic wand. Ah, what a lovely morning for a bit of wand practice. But Nanny Plum, I was going to play with Ben. Princess Holly, there's a time for playing with elves and a time for wand practice. Please, Nanny, I promise to practice later. Mm, very well, but come in when I... Thanks, Nanny. Bye. Oh, where's Ben? Ben! Oh, well, I suppose I could do some wand practice while I wait. Now, wand, what shall we do today? Yes, let's make a pretty hat. Abracadat, a pretty hat. Oh, it's not very pretty. And it's too big. Bye bye, silly hat. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. I'm practicing my magic. Do you want to see? Uh, OK. Stand very still. I'll make you a new hat. Abracazat, magic then a hat. Oh. Mm, mm. Ben, are you in there? Oh, it's empty. I've turned Ben into a hat. Mm, mm. Gosh, what a big hat. Uh, it's Ben. I accidentally turned him into a hat. Princess Holly, that's exactly why you need to practice your magic more. I was practising, but it all went a bit wrong. I expect you waved your wand all over the place. I tried waving it right, but this wand is no good. Now, now, a good fairy never blames her wand. Yes, Nanny Plum. I have a good mind to leave Ben as a hat, just to teach you a lesson. <coughs> Please turn Ben back, Nanny. I don't think he likes being a hat. <coughs> oh, very well. Watch and learn. Ding dong den, hat to Ben. What happened? Uh, things went a bit wrong, but Nanny Plum came to the rescue. Thank you, Nanny Plum. You're welcome, Ben. Now, Holly, next time, shake the wand gently. Yes, Nanny. Sorry, Ben. Were you scared? I'm an elf. Elves are never scared. <laughs> Good. In that case, can I try again? Um, maybe later. See you. Bye, Ben. <laughs> Princess Holly, what have you forgotten? Uh. Your wand. Where is it? Oh. I don't seem to have it. You haven't lost it, have you? Oh, I know. I left it in the meadow. I'm sure I left my wand here. It's gone! <laughs> Hi, Holly. <laughs> Hi, Ben. What's wrong? I've lost my wand. I can't do magic anymore. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> it's not fun.
funny. I'm never going to find my wand and I'll be sad forever. <laughs> Cheer up, Holly. I will find your wand. How? Elves are very good at finding things and I'm an elf. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. But if I find your wand, you must promise not to turn me into a hat again. I promise. But Ben, how are you going to find my wand? I've got a simple plan. Oh, goody. <laughs> First, try to remember where you left your wand. In your bedroom, perhaps, or in... There. Oh. That's where I left it. Ah. What's the next bit of your plan? Um, that was the plan. Ah. Oh, I knew I'd never find it. <coughs> oh, look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Maybe he can help. Hi, Gaston. <coughs> Can you help us find Holly's wand? It was here, and now it's not. <laughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. You'll find your wand in no time. Clever, Gaston. <laughs> oh, why has Gaston stopped? He's looking up into the sky. So that's where your wand has gone. How? Um, can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. Well, it's up there somewhere. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great. Could you call to it? OK. Wand. I wand. <coughs> That's my wand. It's coming from up there. It's a jackdaw. And it's got my wand. Jackdaws like shiny things. It's very high up. And I'm not allowed to fly high. No problem. I'll climb up. Be careful, Ben. Don't worry, Holly. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? <coughs> you, that was lucky. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> <coughs> we should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! Nanny! Ben found my wand! That's very nice, but you really shouldn't have lost it in the first place. Yes, Nanny Plum. Now, Ben, I understand we have you to thank for finding Holly's wand. <laughs> It was nothing, really. I think a reward is in order. I hear you want a new magic hat. Um... Yes, it can be my thank you to Ben. No, please, don't bother. Stay very still, Ben. And Holly, wave the wand gently. Yes, Nanny Plum. Abracazat, magic Ben, a hat. Wow, it worked. It's all down to wand control. And it's a nice cowboy hat. Ben, thanks for finding my wand. Sorry I didn't believe your plan would work. And I'm sorry I didn't trust your magic hat spell. Oh no, the magic hat has turned Ben blue. How do I look? Um, I think your old hat suits you better. Me too. Abracazobody. Ah. Oh. It's good to have my old hat back again. And it's nice to have you back, Wand. I will never lose you again. <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Fairy Picnic. This is a perfect day for a Royal Fairy Picnic. Good idea, Queen Thistle. Hooray! I love picnics. Nanny Plum, prepare the Royal Picnic Basket. Yes, Your Majesty. And will we be having magic jelly for pudding? Uh, maybe we should give the magic jelly a miss this year. But we always have magic jelly at the Royal Picnic. Well, if you promise not to flood the entire kingdom with jelly, like last year... Trust me, Your Majesty, nothing will go wrong this time. Mummy, can Ben come on the picnic? But Holly, Ben is an elf. 
And this is a royal fairy picnic. Please can Ben come? He's my best friend. Well, I suppose, as he's your best friend. Hooray! I'll ring him. Hello, Mrs. Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs. Elf. Can I speak to Ben, please? Righto. Ben, it's Princess Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Would you like to come on the Royal Fairy Picnic today? Yes, please. Good. Come to the castle as quick as you can. Mum, I've been invited on the Royal Fairy Picnic. How lovely. You'll need plenty of food so you have enough to share. What would you like? Um, pies, cheese and some fruit, please. I'll put in a whole strawberry. Then you'll have enough for everyone. Thanks, Mum. Bye. See you later. Look, everyone, it's Ben. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Oh, oh, this should be fun. We've never had an elf on our royal picnic before. <laughs> thanks for inviting me. That looks heavy. Can I help you carry it? Oh, thanks, Ben. Oh, but it's really light. It's a magic basket. Uh, don't worry, Ben. You'll see. <laughs> Look, it's Gaston the Ladybird. Hi, Gaston. Daddy, can Gaston join our picnic? Hmm, I'm not sure. What did he say? Nanny Plum can speak Ladybird language. Gaston says he would like the pleasure of joining Princess Holly and Ben Elf on the Royal Fairy Picnic, Your Majesty. Very well. It's just a pity he's a bit smelly. <laughs> Nanny Plum, can you translate that? Yes, I can, but I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we are. The royal picnic spot. Hooray! <laughs> What's this? It's food for the picnic. You mean you actually bring food with you to a picnic? Uh, yes. It's probably some strange elf custom, Your Majesty. Ho-ho! Oh, oh, how charming! I've got plenty of food for everyone! Thanks, Ben. But fairies don't eat elf food. We have our own special fairy food. Here it is. Oh, but the basket is empty. You've forgotten your food. <laughs> <laughs> Silly, Ben. It isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. It can give us anything we want. Let's start with the drinks. I feel like some sparkling fairy juice. Magic basket oh so old. Let's have fairy juice, sparkling and cold. Wow! Oh, yes, young elf. It is rather impressive. Ben, perhaps you would like to choose the drinks for the children. It can be anything you like. Anything? Can I really ask for anything? Yes, anything at all. Hmm, OK. Lemonade, please. Isn't that a bit boring and ordinary? Elves like lemonade, and I'm an elf. <laughs> but Ben, you can have anything you like in the whole wide world. In that case, lemonade with a dollop of ice cream. Are you sure you wouldn't like something more exotic? OK, lemonade with two dollops of ice cream. <laughs> Good choice, Ben. Magic basket, please. Lemonade with lots of ice cream. Hooray! <laughs> Thanks, Holly. <laughs> Don't forget Gaston. Hmm. What do ladybirds like to drink? <laughs> they like smelly things. That's right. By a ladybird's growl, may the next drink be foul. Uh, Nanny, you've made it too stinky, even for Gaston. Nonsense! Ladybirds love rotten cabbage juice. Now for the main course. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Ooh. And now for pudding. Hooray! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, please don't make too much this time. We don't want a repeat of last year's jelly flood. What happened? Holly, Daisy and Poppy always help me make the pudding. But last year, we made a bit too much and we... Flooded the whole kingdom with jelly. <laughs> I remember the jelly flood. Was that you? <laughs> yes, that was us. 
It was rather spectacular. <laughs> but it's not going to happen again. Is it, Nanny Plum? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We've been practising safe new words that keeps the quantity down. Come along, girls. Can I help too? Yes, Ben. Children, repeat after me. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Hooray! Oh, they're a bit small. They are quite little, aren't they? Yes, we all need more. OK, let's try this. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Phew, for a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood, jelly flood, jelly flood. Ah! <laughs> Nanny, there's too much jelly. Stop it, Nanny! Shazam, shazing! Magic pudding! Shrink, shrink, shrink! Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic spell, but that's only for royal emergencies. I declare this a royal emergency! Thunder and lightning! North wind blow! Magic spells away you go! It worked! Hooray! Hooray! Nanny, where's our food? Sorry, I had to stop all the magic, and that included our magic picnic. I knew I'd never find it. <coughs> oh look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Maybe he can help. Hi Gaston. <coughs> Can you help us find Holly's wand? It was here, and now it's not. <laughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. You'll find your wand in no time. Clever, Gaston. <laughs> oh, why has Gaston stopped? He's looking up into the sky. So that's where your wand has gone. How? Um, can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. Well, it's up there somewhere. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great! Could you call to it? OK. Wand! I oh, wand! <coughs> That's my wand! It's coming from up there! It's a jackdaw. And it's got my wand. Jackdaws like shiny things. Its very cheek is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry. The spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute. Or a week. Or... is here. Hooray! What's it saying? The chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. And me. How about some juicy worms? <laughs> <laughs> Thistle's teapot. Da da do dum da di da. Dum da dum dum da di da. Da 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 dum da di da di. My new fairy tea set. The spell is wearing off. And the mummy bird is here. What's it saying? The chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. And me. How about some juicy worms? <laughs> <laughs> 
Queen Thistle's teapot. Da da do dum da di da. Da da dum dum da di da. Da 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 dum da di da di. My new fairy tea set has arrived. Ooh. Ooh. It's so beautiful and it's so sparkly. It's also very delicate, Holly. That means it breaks easily, so you can look. But don't touch. Yes, Mummy. It is a beautiful teapot. Shall I give it a bit of a dust, Your Majesty? No, Nanny Plum. Even I didn't know the elves were making these. I'm not a toy. I'm Queen Thistle. What's that squeaky noise? Oh, well, I'll just take this toy to the North Pole myself. Or else some poor child won't get their Christmas present. Uh, Mr. Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Away we go! Oh, dear. Home at last. Uh, where is my castle? Uh, somehow it sort of shrunk itself down. And Father Christmas thought it was a toy, and he's taken it to the North Pole. What? Well, if some people will live in houses that look like little toy castles, what do they expect? Hmm, the Queen will sort this out. Queen Thistle! We have a little problem up here that we might need a hand sorting out. Where is the Queen? Uh, on her way to the North Pole. Somehow she shrank down inside the castle. I see. I'll just have to sort this mess out myself then. Let's give Father Christmas a ring. Ah, good. A phone. Ah! Put me down. Ah! Get me out of this cracker. Still one more box of crackers? Let's get them loaded. a long time. I'm the king! <laughs> oh, another box of crackers. It's funny, we never see who delivers them. Ah, oh, trapped in a cracker! <sighs> oh well, at least I can phone for help. Ah oh, yes, it's not a phone, it's a lump of plastic. Get me out of this cracker! <laughs> Trees! Last delivery of Christmas trees! Wow, that's a big Christmas tree. Stacked up in a garden centre. How embarrassing. Ah, the North Pole. I need to get ready for my Christmas deliveries. One last toy to be wrapped. Thistle trapped in a cracker, the wise old elf stuck in a cracker. Dum da dum dum da dee da. Da 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 dum da dee da dee. My new fairy tea set has arrived. Ooh. Ooh. It's so beautiful and it's so sparkly. It's also very delicate, Holly. That means it breaks easily, so you can look. But don't touch. Yes, Mummy. It is a beautiful teapot. Shall I give it a bit of a dust, Your Majesty? No, Nanny Plum. Even you mustn't touch it. Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Now, as it's such a lovely day, why don't we go for a nice walk? Can I stay here and look at the tea set instead? All right, Holly. But look and don't touch. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hello, Ben. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is very busy looking at a teapot. Perhaps if... Ben, I've got something to show you. <laughs> OK, Holly. <laughs> Look, Mummy's fairy tea set. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I suppose so. No one is allowed to touch it. Hey, you want a new magic hat. Um... Yes, it can be my thank you to Ben. No, please, don't bother. Stay very still, Ben. And Holly, wave the wand gently. Yes, Nanny Plum. Abracadabra, magic Ben, a hat. Wow, it worked. It's all down to wand control. <laughs> and it's a nice cowboy hat. Ben, thanks for finding my wand. Sorry I didn't believe your plan would work. 
And I'm sorry I didn't trust your magic hat spell. Oh no, the magic hat has turned Ben blue. How do I look? Um, I think your old hat suits you better. Me too. Abracazobadoo. Ah, it's good to have my old hat back again. And it's nice to have you back, Wand. I will never lose you again. <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Fairy Picnic. This is a perfect day for a royal fairy picnic. Good idea, Queen Thistle. Hooray! I love picnics. Nanny Plum, prepare the royal picnic basket. Yes, Your Majesty. And will we be having... Delicate. W what can you do with it, then? Well, you can have tea parties with it, of course. Uh, but we're not supposed to. Just hold them, silly. It's not hard. Look at me. <gasps> How do you like your tea, Mr. Elf? Weak or strong? <laughs> ah! Ah! Holly, you've broken the Queen's teapot! Oh no! Mummy will be so sad! We weren't supposed to touch it, were we? No. What can we do? Can you fix it with magic? Uh, I'll try. Abracadabra, abracadoo, uh, Mendes. Teapot? <sighs> well, that didn't work. <sighs> Nanny will know a spell. Let's ask her. No, we can't tell anyone. What can we do then? Uh, Ben, aren't elves good at mending things? Uh, yes. And you're an elf? Ben, elf! <laughs> <laughs> so, can you help me mend it? Uh, I'm not sure. Please, Ben. You're my very best Father Christmas has delivered presents to just about every child in the world. Good. Once it's delivered the last one, we can all get some sleep. Look, Father Christmas is almost at Lucy's house. One last present to deliver. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oof. Let me out! Let me out! <sighs> that chair looks comfy. I'll just have a little sit down. <sighs> I mustn't fall asleep, but I'll just close my eyes for a moment. The dots have stopped moving. Father Christmas hasn't left Lucy's house. He's fallen asleep. We'll have to go and wake him up. Come on, everyone, to the elf helicopter. I only hope we can get there before Father Christmas is discovered! Look, Mummy! A present! We'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Lucy! Oof. <sighs> that chair looks comfy. I'll just have a little sit down. <sighs> I mustn't fall asleep, but I'll just close my eyes for a moment. The dots have stopped moving. Father Christmas hasn't left Lucy's house. He's fallen asleep. We'll have to go and wake him up. Come on, everyone, to the elf helicopter. <laughs> I only hope we can get there before Father Christmas is discovered! Look, Mummy! A present! We'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Lucy! That's Dad! I don't think your Dad could take all this. Everyone hide, quickly! Hide? Who has to hide? Um, um... Merry Christmas, darling. Let's pull a cracker. Oof! Let me out! Now, let's have a nice, normal Christmas. No weird, magical stuff. Oof! It'd be too stinky, even for Gaston. Nonsense! Ladybirds love rotten cabbage juice. Now for the main course. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Ooh. And now for pudding. Hooray! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, please don't make too much this time. 
We don't want a repeat of last year's jelly flood. What happened? Holly, Daisy and Poppy always help me make the pudding. But last year, we made a bit too much and we... Flooded the whole kingdom with jelly. <laughs> I remember the jelly flood. Was that you? <laughs> yes, that was us. It was rather spectacular. <laughs> but it's not going to happen again. Is it, Nanny Plum? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We've been practising safe new words that keeps the quantity down. Come along, girls. Can I help too? Yes, Ben. Children, repeat after me. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Oh. I'm day and night delivering the toys to you at the North Pole. Good, good. And how about the Christmas crackers? The fairies are in charge of the crackers. Hello, everyone. We have a visitor. Ho, ho, ho. Of course. You don't know who I am. I'm in disguise. You're Father Christmas. Oh, yes. Mr. Christmas, would you like to test a cracker? Wow, that's loud. Yes, Nanny Plum is in charge of the bangs. Let's bang, please, Nanny. What? But the bang is the best bit. That's why we do the cracker making underground. Let's try the paper hat. How do I look? <laughs> Christmassy. And we've got some good cracker jokes this year. What do you get if you cross a kangaroo and a sheep? A woolly jumper. <laughs> Daddy, that's awful. Cracker jokes are meant to be awful. That's why we get King Thistle to write them. <laughs> and the cracker toys. This year, we've made telephones to put in the crackers. This should be fun. We've never had an elf on our royal picnic before. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. That looks heavy. Can I help you carry it? Oh, thanks, Ben. Oh, but it's really light. It's a magic basket. Uh, don't worry, Ben. You'll see. <laughs> bow, bow. Look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Bow, bow. Hi, Gaston. Bow, bow. Daddy, can Gaston join our picnic? Hmm, I'm not sure. Bow, 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 bow. What did he say? Nanny Plum can speak ladybird language. Bow, 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 bow. Gaston says he would like the pleasure of joining Princess Holly and Ben Elf on the Royal Fairy Picnic, Your Majesty. Very well. It's just a pity he's a bit smelly. Bow, 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 bow. Nanny Plum, can you translate that? Yes, I can, but I'd rather not. Bow, bow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we are. The Royal Picnic Spot. Hooray! <laughs> What's this? It's food for the picnic. You mean you actually bring food with you to a picnic? Uh, yes. It's probably... Hey, Nanny Plum. Usually, the first thing a chick sees is its mummy. And this chick saw Nanny first. So it thinks Nanny is its mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a mummy bird. The chick is hungry. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh, Gaston is an insect. Gaston, maybe you should stand back a bit. We need to find some worms. How? With worm charming, like this. The worms think it is raining and come up to breathe. Away. Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> There's another one. Oh. I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry, so it thinks Nanny is its mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a mummy bird. The chick is hungry. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh, 
Gaston is an insect. Gaston, maybe you should stand back a bit. We need to find some worms. How? With worm charming, like this. The worms think it is raining and come up to breathe. Ooh. <laughs> Look, a worm! It got away! Oh, come on everyone, try again. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my